Hello besties, welcome back to the channel. It's me Gigi and I really hope that you guys are weathering the COVID-19 storm as best as you can. I know that there's a lot of people out there that boredom is the biggest problem that they're facing right now and for other people fighting for their lives is the biggest problem they're facing right now or working with people who are fighting for their lives without adequate protection and that just really is infuriating and you know what maybe we're going to break all that down a little bit in another video but today we are going to talk about a little show called making the cut what i just finished watching the episode number three and uh it was pretty good it was the first teen challenge of making the cut so <coughs> excuse me it was a collaboration between two designers and they needed to make a three collection look so very project runway um and honestly other than a little bit of you know i want to be in charge i want to be in charge kind of uh control issues sort of thing nothing was really out of control everyone pretty much worked together well and even the struggles were handled with a minimum of fuss at least for what was shown so i really i was really like applauding the designers for not drama queening out on this one because so often in a team challenge you decide straight off the bat i don't want to work with anyone and that completely ruins your collaboration so true collaborations are when you and somebody else bring what is unique about you together to make something beautiful and a couple people pulled it off and a couple people didn't so let's go ahead and just talk about the fashion because they're really you know everything was pretty cool um tim gunn's critiques were in most cases pretty spot on but every once in a while he has a miss and i think that he was missing when he talked to um uh johnny and megan i really liked their black and white looks with the leather and and the suit so <laughs> i thought he was missing the mark with his critique on them but you know what everybody's taste is a little different and what he sees in fashion as acceptable is different than what everybody else might see as acceptable and i know even him and tidy tidy him and heidi do not always agree 100 percent. so there that's just what it is beauty's in the eye of the beholder so let's talk about fashion I'm not going to go over every single look. I'm going to tell you the things that I really liked and the couple of things, only a couple of things that I didn't really love. The, I was sort of tied between two teams and honestly, I would have been fine if either had won. Johnny and Megan's team, they just really knocked it out of the park. That black and white flowy top with the tight pants and the gown with gown the gown <laughs> with the jacket and the sculptural bit on the arms i will say um the white suit i was mad about and i'm very anti sculptural bits on the arms at least the kind that stick out like that um but other than that i really liked the looks so they were really striking um the other looks that i thought were just so beautiful were Sabato and Sander. They had very elegant, streamlined, almost boxy looks, but they were so flowy at the same time and everything was tailored so beautifully. It was black to reddish black to black and reddish black together. And it was just, it was gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, Definitely, I wish I had the money to go online right now and buy the look that's accessible because they were all just so pretty and so beautiful. But even the accessible look was so fancy that I would have to come up with something to do to wear it. I don't really go to a lot of extremely fancy places and maybe one day that'll change. But for right now, not as much as I wish I had places to go to wear dresses like that. Let's just say that. And I'm sure the vast majority of people who watch these shows actually feel the same way, right? Right. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and not talk about the things that I disliked right away. Let's talk about the winner. Like I said, the two people that I liked the most, Johnny and Megan and Sabato and Sander, I would have honestly been fine if either one of those teams had won. But Sabato and Sander ended up being the ones to take the prize this week and well-deserved. Elegance at its finest. I just... Honestly, I could see... Um, Audrey Hepburn wearing any of those dresses. They were classic and beautiful and elegant. Um, now, when we're getting into the looks that I didn't like as much, really, Esther and Will, they think that their marriage was made in heaven. I thought it was ugly. I didn't see either of them in the looks. It was a mismatch, hodgepodge, matchy-matchy nightmare. It None of it was pretty. I didn't like any of it. And I was holding my breath that they wouldn't send Esther home. And they did tell them separately. They made Will wait to find out that he got to stay. So it was the first little nod to drama in the show. And, you know fine whatever um i don't need it but i guess some people probably like it kind of like and i got a comment on reddit last week when i mentioned that i'm not a fan of the little heidi and tim vignettes that they do in the middle of the show and the ones they did this week with the character i didn't like that either so um i don't like it when you're faking something as candid and that was my problem with it. And it's unnatural. Neither of them are actors. And it doesn't feel comfortable to me. It doesn't feel like it flows with the show. It's like the show is going, la, 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 eh. la, 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 eh. And I did get a comment last week, like I said, on Reddit, where, because I had said that I thought that the little vignettes were unnecessary, and somebody said I was unnecessary, so I absolutely love that comment. It was the best thing that happened to me all day. So, um, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't like those. But anyway, um, there was just Esther and Will, I, the drama, the vignettes. All of it I could live without. But, you know, if it makes other people happy, I can live with it. It's it's kind of like on Project Runway, how a, a large portion of it is turned into a commercial. I could totally live without that. But I guess it makes some money, so I'm going to shut my mouth. So, the, the pair that were at the bottom was... Um, Wow, I totally wrote over their names, Josh and Troy. And I didn't like anything that they did. What they tried to do was really fancy, upscale matching of prints, which if you're a fan of Project Runway, you know people like Mondo do that very well. And when it's done in a skillful artist's hands, it's an, a very appealing look. But in this case, nothing went together. It was loud and loud. And when you're mixing prints, you want to go loud and soft. And you want to go big and small. You don't want to go big and big and loud and loud because it hurts the eyes to see that. And my brain was exploding as these looks were coming down the runway and the shorts were ill-fit. There was so much wrong with these looks. I could sit here for a half hour and explain to you how sparkly shorts are not good. You know it and I know it. And so when they're talking to them, what ends up happening, and in my heart, I'm a little heartbroken for him, but at the same time, I'm proud of him for recognizing his time was up and facing it head on. And doing it all kind of on his own terms. And he didn't do it in a bratty way. Troy, they were talking to him. And she asked him, Troy, why do you think you should stay in the competition? Heidi, I mean. And he said, I don't think I should. I think that you should keep my partner because he's so brilliant and such, such, a, such a talent. 
and I think he should stay, please give him another chance because the parts of the look you don't like, that's me, not him. I think I should go home. And Heidi basically said to him the same thing I've heard her say to countless people on Project Runway, we can't want it more for you than you want it for you. Go ahead and go. And so then they allowed Troy to, um, no, I'm sorry, Josh to have a, a, a moment to speak. And they asked him, do you think you should stay? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I should. And so Heidi always asks everybody, have you changed your mind? And she looks down at um, Naomi and she goes, have you changed your mind? And she goes, yes, I have. And then it flashes to be continued. Well, there were some dramatic shots of faces, you know, but, and then to be continued. So what I'm going to do now is upload this video for you guys and then go watch the next one. And I will come back later today and talk to you again about making the cut. Um, cause I'm really enjoying the show. Uh, for the most part, there are some, any new show has to work through its kinks and that's what we're seeing here. You it's a rare show that you like 100% on the first viewing or the first season. And so I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing so far. And I hope that you guys are too. Please let me know in the comment section below what you're thinking about the show. What do you think about the fashion? And don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see all the reviews of this and all the other things I review on the channel. Mwah! Talk to you later.